Fabulous, my name is Paige, this is Pages with Paige, and today we're going to be doing 7 on Sunday. Seven on Sunday is a Goodreads group created by Grace from G Swizzle and I'll leave a link to both her channel and the Goodreads group in the description box below. So this week's topic is anticipated releases for the end of 2020 and I have seven books here that I am absolutely dying to get my hands on. I have only up until the end of October, I don't have any releases for November or December so that might be a video to look forward to in the upcoming months as well. So the closest book to being released is The Scape Graces by Hannah Abigail Clark and this is being released on the 15th of September. I have no idea what this book is about as for most of these. It's, for me, it's more just uh, book covers that I'm initially drawn to for anticipated releases and then I'll go in and see if it's about, immediately forget what it's about so then I can be surprised while I'm reading it. The next one is one that I've pre-ordered the um, special edition version through Alcrate and that's Deadly Education by Naomi Novik. I know that this is set in a magical school that has multiple levels and it's releasing at the end of September and I am so excited to get my hands on this. I have absolutely loved Uprooted and Spinning Silver by Naomi Novik so when I saw that it was a magical school I was like boom yes done and yeah I can't wait to get my hands on the Alcrate special edition. I don't know how long it's going to take to get to me it could take up to a month from when they start shipping them so I don't think I'm going to be getting it around release time but I'm still so excited. Next is the 6th of October we actually have two releases and the first one that I am so excited for is The Archive of the Forgotten by AJ Hackworth which is the second um, in the Hell's Library series the first being The Library of the Unwritten. I absolutely adore The Library of the Unwritten and I can't wait to see where they go with this and how they expand on the world that was introduced. I love seeing all the different versions of heaven and hell throughout different mythologies, religions, races and beliefs. The other one being released on the 6th is probably one of the most anticipated books of booktube and that is The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab. I know that this girl makes a, devil, a deal with the devil to be essentially immortal but it, no one can remember who she is, that's the deal that she makes. And then one day a boy remembers who she is. So I'm so curious to see where this story goes and I love V.E. Schwab's writing and I can't wait to dive in and see how it goes. The next day also has two and that's the 13th of October and we have Once and Future Witches by Alex E. Harrow. I believe this is the author of 10,000 Doors of January which I have not read yet but I'm absolutely drawn in by the cup of that and my friend Cara highly recommends checking this one out. She thinks that I'm really going to love it so I'm anticipating it. And the other one is The Castle of Tangled Magic by Sophie Anderson which is the author of The Girl Who Speaks Bear and The House with Chicken Legs. Um, both of which were high recommendations from Gavin and I absolutely adore them. The House with Chicken Legs made me cry and it's just so beautiful so I'm so excited to see where Sophie Anderson takes us next. And the final book for this lot of anticipated releases is Among the Beasts and Briars by Ashley Poston. Ashley Poston is writing the Once Upon a Con series which is one of my absolute favorite series and yeah I'm curious to see how she takes this fairy tale and twists it on her head. I think it will be quite interesting and I can't wait to get my hands on it. So just a very quick video to talk through seven of my most anticipated releases for the end of 2020. Let me know in the comments below which one are you looking most forward to? What's your most anticipated release for the end of 2020? And if you like this video feel free to give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more of this mess feel free to subscribe and I'll hopefully see you in my next video. Bye!